Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today to do a flip through, six month flip through of my plum paper planner. I'm going to try to adjust the camera just a bit so we can get it all in the shot. Okay, so when I first got my planner, it was coiled and I uncoiled it about a month ago and put it in my Marion Smith Designs planner. So this is it uncoiled but loose because as the months go, I take it out. So I got my planner. I started the month of February and the week of the 16th. Very basic decorating here. Um, I was writing the meals at the bottom. Just very, very plain. Then the next week I have a little more decoration. I'm just going to flip through. Um, you can see how my styles change. I do put my favorites for the month on one of the note pages just because I like to have a list so I can record my favorite videos. This is my monthly spread, very simple because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. Now this is the one thing that I do not like about this planner. There's all this wasted space at the beginning of the next month if it starts like in the middle of the week and then there's just like one day there. I don't like that. Not sure how you can avoid it per se, but I just don't care for it. But you can see as I go along, I'm trying stuff out, like I tried out the checklists. Obviously those didn't work for me because I had never even used them. But I tried. I really like the washi down the side here. Um, this was a really nice layout. The colors were pretty. I have a little more decoration. So that was cool. Um, now we're into March. This was St. Patrick's Day week. So there's a little bit of green on there. Um, back again to the blue. I like this blue color. I don't know why. It's like one of my favorite colors. And again with the end of the month being with two days and then this all blank. I don't like that at all. Um, I was trying here to do like wish list video ideas. Favorites again. I am sticking with this because I really do enjoy favorites. Okay and then I'm doing also something I'm sticking with is books I read for the month. I really like that idea as well. Then in April I decided I was going to track my fitness on the monthly spread and that has been working really well so I'm sticking with that. So every time I go to Zumba I put a little check. You know if I do anything else, if I miss Zumba like I was sick that day, I didn't go. I think I had a kidney stone. That's why I didn't go that day because I like never miss Zumba unless I'm in bad shape because I love it so much. This was Easter week so you have the bunnies and things going on. Um, I also go back in and put things in as a memory keeper. Like I made a fedora this day and a coupon folder and a fleece blanket. It was like super crafting day that day. Um, here's this week. Just gonna keep on going. Some weeks are more simple than others. I love layouts that have like everything full, but that's just not me. I, I have a hard time filling everything up and I don't know why. I just can't bring myself to do it. I try to fill in some places, but I don't know. I just can't. Another favorites. And then this is May. This was the last month in my spiral bound. So some more Zumba tracking. Um, here's another blank spot and I tried to decorate it up a little bit. That didn't go that well. Um, just going to keep flipping. I feel like my hands are like all over the place. Sorry about that. <laughs> I filmed this twice already. This is the third time. So I'm kind of like over it at this point. <laughs> so very simple. And then again with the favorites for them. Okay, so in June, I got my Marion Smith Designs planner. And it looks like this. I am in love with this planner. It's so gorgeous. It's my first like real planner, you know, like a binder style. And I had this on my plum paper and I just stuck it on here. Okay, when you open it up, it looks like this. And I'm going to just move my camera around until I get a good angle here. That looks pretty good. And I just have these stuff stuck in here. Washi, journaling cards, um, paper clips. And then in here I have some stickers and an Ollie clip. This is from Ollie Block on Etsy. So here's some little sample stickers. Okay, these are from... Paradise Papery. This was one set on Etsy. This was another set. These are re recent purchases. I can't pick it up. They're so darn cute. 
And then I have one from Scribble Prints Co. in there. And I have one from the Pineapple Paper Company. So pretty. And this one's from the Pineapple Paper Company. Do you ever get stamp stickers and you're, they're so pretty you don't even want to use them? Yeah, that's that. So I made this dashboard and it's hooked on with another Ollie clip. These things are like strong. There's some strong clips. Okay. And then I just have this little vellum folder with some date seals that came with it and some washi. Not a folder, an envelope. This one's from Marion Smith. Then this is the yearly spread, and I just mark off each month as it passes. This is from the Conscious Box. I just like how the envelope looked, so I stuck it in there. This is Marion Smith. Marion Smith. This is from Strange and Charmed. It was just a free printable. Marion Smith. June, books I read this month. Again, tracking the Zumba. This was the first week in June. I love June's colors. They're so darn pretty. Another week in June. I'm taking June out as soon as I film this because um, I like to have more room in here to add things. This is another one of those where the month ended all wonky. Then I was trying to track my spending. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing that. The monthly favorites. And then books I read for July. So, moving on. Tracking the exercise again. July, no buy. I failed the first day because I didn't realize it was already July. So I went and bought stuff. And then yesterday, Saturday the 12th, I may have bought a few more things. But overall, not doing too bad. I covered up a few, a few personal things. This was the 4th of July week. I went crazy on decorating. That's so unlike me. I don't know what got into me. But yeah, I went crazy. This was from the Marion Smith Designs. It came with the planner. Next year I'm going to use the inserts that came with it. And I'm back to putting my meals down here. I go back and forth on that. I love these sock monkeys. They're from Walmart. They're so cute. These are from Walmart too. And then this is this week. I have an appointment I covered up. These are from the Happy Planner sticker sets. Um, this is from this. All the other stickers are from this kit from Paradise papery on Etsy and then flip ahead um, I just cut that out and put that in there because I liked it and this is happy scrappy inserts and then in the back I have my weather stickers I got from Amazon I put them on every day then I made this divider and this is from how cute for you isn't that adorable it is so cute this is notes and this is just graph paper that I punched and I divided with washi. These are Etsy stores to check out and things to buy. More Etsy stores, more Etsy stores. There's a lot of Etsy stores. These are from Staples. They were 99 cents. They came on a pad. Food tracker. Free printable from Pinterest where I can track my paleo diet. This is a savings tracker that I haven't started yet, but I like the idea, so I put it in there. This is a pounds lost, pounds to go. I need to move four of these down here. I lost four pounds. I haven't done that yet. These are my favorite Etsy shops, but I need to update it because I have more to add. And these came with the planner. Isn't that planner just beautiful? The only thing that I would change about this planner is I wish the rings were bigger. Um, I wouldn't have known that because I've never owned a binder style ringed planner before. But if I were to think about it and do it again, I would definitely buy one that had bigger rings. But as long as I take the months out as I use them, that's not even a big deal. All right, thank you for watching, and I will see you again in my next video. And I'll do another one of these at the end of the year for the last six months. Thanks again. Bye-bye.